guys, it's me, your friendly pain in the butt class clown, Jamie. Um, I've got, I've got kind of a little bit of a dilemma here, and I was asked to do a video as a kind of a explanation as to what we're planning to do. Um, we would like to do kind of like a fundraiser kind of thing. Uh, I know you guys, some of you guys don't know me, but Flathead Corruption Watch knows me very well. Um, he knows what type of person I am. I don't lie, or at least I try not to. Um, and I don't take advantage of people. I don't e-beg, and I don't, you know, I don't expect anybody to give me anything unless they want to. Um, but this fundraiser would be for my son, my youngest son. He's 23. Um, he'll be 24 in November. Um, since my mom died in May of last year, uh, he is still living in the same place where she died. Um, and that's only because of he didn't want to leave from around his job. He's been at the same job for uh, almost five years. Uh, he works at uh, the uh, tire recycling plant there in, in here in Oklahoma. He's been there, like I said, for almost five years. He's a loyal worker. He doesn't miss work unless he has to. He don't even like to take his vacation time. He don't even like to take his days off. And for a 20-some-odd-year-old boy, you know, that's uh, that's some pretty good, uh, pretty good work ethic there. Um, he's a mama's boy, of course. Um, but the dilemma is he had to trade in his car that he had because of some problems with it and it would have been too much to fix it and he had to get him a, a much newer car well he was doing fine until like I said everything kind of came to a head because uh, my mom's ex-husband who had been living with her had moved out and moved to a different place and so that left Austin there my son by himself um, the rent there is like for uh, about $600 for rent. Um, that's not including utilities, cost of food, blah, blah, blah. And he was doing okay for a little while, but now he's realized he needs to move up here with me and my husband. Um, but he couldn't get his tag for his car. And it's overdue now. And if he gets caught, of course, they're going to impound the vehicle. So um, I can't help him because I don't have a job. I that's why I don't consider myself worthy of, of anything that I get, but some people seem to think I am, so <laughs> I can't, you know, I'm not going to argue with them, but, you know, I just, I think the money would be better spent towards somebody who really deserves it. But the tags and title and everything all together with the penalties would run at probably, running at probably about $900 rough estimate. Uh, now, he is he will chip in at least three to four hundred dollars towards the tag and title as well he's not expecting everybody to hand him over all the money to pay for it um so i'm doing this video as kind of like a a, a help call for him uh this way he can go ahead and get his tag and his title done and he can move up here with me it would be cheaper on him because everything would be split three ways because uh, we live with my brother-in-law as well so everything would be a lot cheaper on him and if whoever whoever donates money period if you want it back just leave a note for whatever you donated and just say you would like to have it back we understand you know this is it's a tough time right now and people are having a hard time making it so there's no qualms about giving the money back. We would be more than happy to, to you know, give it back to you. Um, if not, you know, whatever you decide to, whatever you decide to donate, be it prayers, uh, good blessings, or just prayers in general, you know, that works too. We'll take anything you want to send. You know, it's it's not like we're we're uh, demanding anybody to do anything, or you know, we expect anybody to give us anything. And I apologize for the fur balls from working in front of the camera, but <laughs> those are my kittens. Um, but any help is appreciated, and it's it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, and I want to 
give a shout out to Flathead for doing this for me. Um, he's such an awesome, awesome guy. I just love him to the moon and back. He's like a brother to me. Um, I, I would do anything in the world for him and his family. And he would do the same for me and my family. And this is why we're doing this. And, you know, like I said, y'all don't know me, but, you know, I'll be more than happy to answer whatever questions I can answer for you. You know, um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm not a bad person. I'm not in this to e-beg. The only reason why I got a PayPal in the first place was because I wanted to see if I could do it. <laughs> I didn't know you could do it like that. But now that I do have one, there's only one person who has my PayPal link, and that's Flathead. So if that tells you anything. I don't expect anybody to donate to me, and I don't don't put it out there for anybody to do it unless they want to. Um, so anyways, like I said, if you guys would like to have your money back, that's fine. We'll be more than happy to send it to you. Uh, just leave a note and or let Flathead know where we can send it to or we can send it to him to give, give it to you back. Uh, however you want to do it, it's fine with us. Uh, like I said, we're not expecting a handout. Um, and any and all things donated or sent to us, as well as prayers or whatever, like I said, they're greatly appreciated. And we want to say, you know, God bless you. Thank you, Flathead. I love you, man. You're the best. You are just truly awesome. So, and thank you in advance for anybody who does donate and if there's any questions just let me know thank you bye